welcome back to my channel. I wish you a very, very happy 2020. For me personally, it's gonna be a very exciting year because we're gonna move in a few months to our dream house. We're building a house with two swimming pools, one inside, one outside, because we couldn't choose. This is just to show how epic it's gonna be. But if you wanna see the journey, and if you wanna move with us this spring, then make sure you subscribe down below. Today, we're gonna to talk about materialistic stuff. I'm sure a lot happened in 2019. In my personal life, sure a lot happened. It was a rocky year, but it ended on a good note. And I want to share with you the materialistic side of it because that's the point of my whole channel, brag and show off with stuff that I buy, right? Let's get into the best and the worst stuff that I bought in 2019. The first thing I wanna talk about is a handbag. Oh, by the way, can I also say I'm not pregnant? I'm just wearing something very loose. Maybe it's not a great way to be away from YouTube for a long time and then come back and look like your prego. The first thing I want to talk about is a bag that kind of stirred up almost as almost as intense emotions as the Vuitton um, pochette. But oh, what were they? The tr I don't even know the name of this hideous bag with all the three uh, the three pochette. The I just I just didn't want to look at it at all. It is the Dior saddlebag. Aside from it being a very practical handbag, I must say, it's a lot more practical than you would think. Aside from that, I feel it's a little piece of art. This is going to be perfect in my new house, in the background, just like hanging there, very cash, showing that I'm a very cool girl. It has a very vintage vibe. I don't, there are not a lot of bags that, that look like this. And again, you're gonna love it or hate it, but for me, this was a great purchase. Not only because I love this bag, I got like 25% off it because I bought it on Vestier. It was brand new, it was in mint condition. I think it was worn like once only. There was nothing, like nothing wrong with it. Now I just see a few scratches in the hardware, but this is something that I did. It was a great deal uh, money-wise, but I like I probably would have bitten the bullet down the line anyway because I just love this. It's just, beautiful bag. I still have to film a video about it, but um, if you know me a little bit, I don't like filming videos too early on. I like to give you like really the good, bad, and the ugly because every bag has its pros and the cons, but I love this one. It's a jewel for me. Another great purchase. This is a bag that I recently acquired. Um, I've already had one before, but not in this finish. Ooh, can you see it? This is the Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt leather and in the newest color, which is Cherry Berry. And boy, do I love this thing. This is for me a very like chic, adult, but still very cool kind of bag. This is more of like an Instagrammer vibe and like kind of like, it's, you're very cool, but even though I'm not, I'm not like pretending to be, but this one really makes me just, I don't know, it makes me want to put my heels on and be like, oh, I'm so stylish. But at the same time, I'm rocking this with sneakers that I'm about to show you. And I I just love this. I missed my old Pochette Matisse. And when I saw this specific color, I fell head over heels in love with it. There will be a video following. So if you want to see my full like review thoughts, everything I think of this bag, then definitely make sure you subscribe. But um, this was my birthday gift for myself this year and I bought it also with a very special bunch of people. And the last bag I wanna show you, I wanna show it to you because I feel 2019 was for me the year of experimenting with colors. This bag is a little bit of a Disneyland bag for me. Woo! This is just so pretty, every time I see it, it just takes my breath away. But I do have to say I don't wear it as much as I would have wished for. I think it's partly also because this works very well with lighter colors. Now, filming this video, I discovered that it actually works really good with this kind of like forest green. So I might pair up with this. This is the main issue I have with it is that I don't know how to tastefully pair it with my outfits. Didn't think of it when I got it, but I love this color. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Celine box bag. 
and I also love how it looks like in inside. I already told you when I unboxed it that this is this is a bag that represents everything fun. Like the color is fun. It comes across very pink on camera, I believe, but it's like if it's in a darker setting, it almost looks a little bit like red, like a very deep red. Um, and in some lights it looks fuchsia and in some lights it looks a little bit like a more muted pink. So it represents everything fun, like a beautiful color and it represents my super fun Dutch friends. Um, you know why? <laughs> Orange is the favorite color of Dutch people, like officially, okay? People differ, have different tastes. But uh, yeah, one of the like most precious things that I got this year and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm sure as I venture into like new other colors, as I lose weight and maybe dare to wear more white. Oh, I think this with a dress, well, I, you can't see what I'm wearing, but if I had something white on with this, ooh, ooh, that would be so lush, that would be so lush. The next thing is gonna be the worst purchase of the year. And I actually realized I only have one, technically three purchases of the year, but it's just the same item that I repurchased many times before I realized this is rubbish. It's a pair of shoes and I didn't get one pair of them, didn't get two. I actually got three pairs of those shoes. So we're talking about the Golden Goose sneakers. I ordered it from the men's department because Golden Goose stops at 41, no 42, but their 42 is very small. So my foot doesn't like fit into it. But the, like, I love the way that it looks, first of all. Cool, very cool, very just, you know, my boyfriend hates them. <laughs> I think there are a lot of men who hate those. The main problem that I have, and this is with all of those shoes, is they just, the shape, I don't know, something about them, they wear out on the outside. So instead of like standing like this, you end up standing like this, you know what I mean? And then you're walking around like a like an umpa lumpa basically. And when I first had it with like the first pair, I was like, okay, maybe it's me, you know? We all have a way of walking, you know? And I tend to wear up my shoes on the out outer side. But wear out shoes, it means like, it takes years to do that. Um, I'll show you this pair, do you see that? But like, it's fine when you look at it, but when I'm standing, I, you know, and I'm a, I'm a plus size girl. I don't, I look, I already don't look very good standing in different <laughs> positions. But like, if I'm like walking, ugh, it just doesn't look pretty. And for the longest of time, I thought like, oh my God, it must be me. Until I saw somebody else wearing Golden Goose and I saw that and I was like, this is not a hot look. This is not a hot look. Uh, mind you, I bought those, I think around springtime. Was it springtime? Springtime. So I haven't had them for that long and I'm rotating, like I'm constantly rotating between the three of them and they look like really rubbish this is a third pair and you can also see that um yeah also they don't look very fresh for like such an expensive pair i'm telling you just go for stan smith or something cheaper than that now i don't know if it's just a problem with the men's line if you have golden goose just let me know down below maybe it's like just you know maybe it's the men's line i think it's unacceptable that those are so expensive and I, um, I'm stupid, <laughs> but this is how you learn, right? Uh, because a couple of months ago, your girl find, like, found the perfect pair of designer sneakers. My boyfriend probably hates those as well, even though he hasn't commented yet on them, but I see his face every time I put them on and he's like, not again, <laughs> but he hasn't said a thing. It's those ones. Those are the Acne, um, I'll put the name on here. I'm sorry if they're dirty, but I wear their shoes. I'm not gonna like polish them for the sake of the video. So here's the thing. I'm a little bit like obsessed in my head, as in if I like something of a brand, I will buy many different versions of the same thing. 
uh, Golden Goose being a very good example. If I like one thing of the brand and I purchase something else and I love it, I get into a little love affair with the brand and this is what's been going on with acne. So I first got to myself the scarf and then I got these and now I'm just like obsessively looking around um, for cool acne things but I do feel most of the things are a little too cool for, for my liking but those sneakers, they're just so cool. They're a little bit heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but like a pleasant heavy. They're not like the Balenciaga um, crazy sneakers. Um, also, they look pretty like muted. They fall, in my opinion, into the category of like the ugly sneaker, but they are a lot more of a um, polite version of them. So I absolutely love them. Love, love, love. So the next thing are sunglasses. Not one pair, not two pairs, but three pairs of Chanel Sunnies. That's the same thing, that's the thing I told you. If I find a pair of sunglasses, oh, sorry, they're dirty, um, that kind of fits my weird head and that complements my weird head, then I'm gonna buy all the colors that they've got. That's how weird I am. And the third pair is like the coolest one. No, which one is it? Oh, this one. Ooh, ow. But the most annoying part of those is that you really see every single, every single fingerprint. Mm -mm -mm. But I love those. They are so comfortable. I've got this one for when I feel like a, like an adult lady and I want to feel like stylish. Also ventured into gold this year, which is funny because I've got gold here. I've got bags with gold hardware. I always said like, I don't like gold, I don't like gold. And I'm like, oh, give me more gold, baby. And those ones, which are, those ones have like a, those are ones that, those ones are technically blue, but I love them. They're not like, in, like a very in your face blue. So yeah, went a little bit cray cray on the sunny side, but they also, that's what I want to say. The logo is not disgusting. I hate sunglasses that have like so much logo going on on the side that you just cannot see past it. And funnily, this blue pair is the one that I wear the most and this one has a very beautiful muted logo here. They are sturdy, like they are, they feel not as substantial as the thicker Celine sunglasses, but they feel decent. They don't feel like they're gonna fall apart and like this pair, literally, I've swam in them. I've done all kinds of things, nasty things in the summer in them. You don't even wanna know, but they've still held um, held up well. And again, I, you can't go wrong with those. Classic shape, never gonna go out of style, nothing too crazy, a great find. That was it, you guys, for my 2019 best and worst purchase. Actually, there was only one bad purchase, uh, times three, but when you research the crap out of everything that you buy, then you're more likely not to get any nasty surprises. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your best purchase was. It doesn't even have to be a luxury one. Just like, what is the best thing that you spent your money on this year? Uh, let me know down below. I would like to read that. Thank you for watching. Bye.